Hey, yo, welcome back. Um, yeah, on this class we'll be talking about HTML comments. And what do you mean by comments? Comments are codes that are inside your code, but um, it should be displayed on the browser. What are comments used for? Most of the time, comments are used to send a message or to just put a notation or to just disable a particular code for sometimes probably you are not using it at the moment or something or to keep a code inside your files and whatever you have into the comments is definitely not going to be showing on your display mode for instance um, let's say uh, welcome here is here where is it is welcome here and i had a test here when i write anything without even using a tag when i save it shows right yeah it shows because HTML can understand that you wrote something. Either you have tags or it doesn't have tag. Yeah, at, at that moment you didn't care about that. Now let's now talk about sorry. Let's now talk about the the um, comment. Let's go straight to the point. Comment can be used in in two ways. For instance, okay, now how can we even hard current comment? Let's start from there. This is how you hard comments. You press the control the control key in your keyboard the control key in your keyboard plus this slash in your keyboard just press it together then you see a comment for instance i want to add a comment here i'll just add okay, that's the comment and if you want to add it manually just add something like this five pair it's added eh? or you can just do something like this just write this guy exclamation double dash it will hand it by itself so whatever you want to write you can write it in between when i say it, this guy is not going to show anywhere in the code it's not going to show anywhere in the code yeah so probably i don't want this guy to show anymore this hakotech both hakotech you just highlight them and just i uh, press ctrl and four slash when i save you see that it's not showing here anymore it has disappeared but it's still in our code probably i don't need it anymore that's where i'm going to put it there that's where i'm going to add it when i remove this and i see if it's going to come back like yeah you can use comments to disable a particular code probably i don't want all these guys to show right now i can just control for slash then i save see they are not showing anymore you can see this screen every other code will come here see to come directly to your this thing so that is how comments work if you want to disable you just press the same control for slash it will sorry yeah control for slash to work so save it get back to this so you can use that uh, to disable a code and also you can use it to pass a message probably this is an image eh? and you want to you want to pass a message here that okay this is where the image starts and this is where the image end you can come here and write control for slash and say this is where the image started you understand you save then you copy this guy and say probably say this is where the image ends when you see that this message is actually not showing but you have it on your code but let's try to inspect our code when you let's try to inspect our code when you right click and press inspect code and then um, you screw a little bit down yeah you can see the comments here this is where the image started this is where the image started. you can only see it in the code you can't see it on the page why is it that we most of the time you can be hired as a developer in a particular company and you just write your code and do everything you are the one that understand your code but in order to explain those your code one after the other okay this is where the top nav started this is where the footer started this is where the user information will start this way so you are trying to explain what you have in your code to the person for instance if i don't know for instance rather if i don't have anything to do here and i just say and i just come inside this code and i don't know where the image are and i'm just following and i saw these comments I say this is where the image started so that will tell me that oh this is where the developer started putting the images it can even be probably want to say um, this is a kind of like big picture so i can just put it there i can just put it right before the account of this picture probably here just say 
this is Akin's picture and let's say save and we we'll copy here again and we'll put it there so you can just write it once here yeah, there's nothing wrong with it but I like encoding it with particular code so you know that the code inside this guy is inside where the archaeology is you can just put it this way it will still work fine but if i just start it this way and i didn't close it here i see it as if every other thing that is below this guy is still a kind of this picture so when i just write it this way uh -huh, i know that okay the guy between these two comments is the account of the picture that is thrown in so i know where i can see my code because you are writing small small code here that's why it seems so i will find it here yeah, sometimes it might be quite difficult and you might have duplicate content some content can be the same as the one that is here but if you want to know the one you are looking for it's better to use comments to 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 indicate whatever things you want to write and something like that so i hope you understand the idea of comments like i said you can use the disable code for, for instance now if i want to disable this image and uh, this trolling image i can just highlight them and just press ctrl for slash when i save this car has disappeared it's not going to show but i see everything in my code whenever i want to enable it whenever anybody is trolling or browsing this website it's not going to see that image anymore until the developer wants to enable it back so you just want to come back to the page and press the ctrl for slash back so it has enabled it so it is back here so you can disable or you can enable or you can use it to pass a message or write a comment in your code for better understanding of what you are written in your code that is the idea of comments in html it's uh, there's comment in javascript there's comment in css and other languages like that so any other language that you are writing just the control for slash is the way to write comment in almost all these languages using visual studio code thank you very much for listening to this class i'll meet in the next class thanks